so today we got something going on with the outdoor TXV. So we're gonna try to figure it out. And we're working with Willie, so get ready for some dumb comments. Make you famous one day? Maybe. By my comments? Mm -hmm. If you live long enough. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. What you want? I'm just, I'm, my bag. I'm just prepping. We're gonna turn it on. The door just fell. We're gonna. I'm just gonna um turn it on. I'm gonna put my gauges on, true suction, and uh, let me go get my phone. Let me get my phone. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. We just did a like secondary pan the other day. No, you did that by yourself. I just, I was there for moral support. <laughs> you were there for oral support? Is that what you said? Moral support. Moral. <clears throat> it's just blue stuff. It's not supposed to be there. That's from, oh, that's, that's from hitting it with the hose with chlorinated, with chlorinated water. Wait a minute. Well, I told her, did she try to clean it? Yeah, she said it's it's just like it's sticking and it's not opening all the way. But the stepper motor. So I don't, why do they put the sticker on there? That's not supposed to be there. Uh huh. Take it off. That's the, there's not a magnet on the top. That's why they put it on the top. Will you shut up and make me feel like I know something for once? This is not cool. You do know stuff. You know. How to ask questions. That's what she said. <laughs> that was a good one. I didn't even make it a good one. I didn't have nothing to say to it, so yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I love his drain. I'm just drains yeah, in this hole right here. It, I believe it all out. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it looks low in a refrigerant. Huh? All right. So if you want to test it, you got a pin set up right here. You put something across the test in the open, and it'll force that TXV open. And we forced it open, and it's starting. The pressure is starting to equalize. So I, yeah, that tells me that it might be that sensor. So we're gonna let it run for a little while and see if uh, we fix it. Huh? It's gonna be cold, cold. That one's um, gonna be, yeah. Is it going up? No. Yeah. It's about to shut off again. Try the other one. Just, you can spin it up. Yeah, just try the other one. It's going up now. We were just thinking we need we need to change the sensors. Yeah. That's what it is. Look at it freezing up. It's, sl it's slowly now. it's slowly rising. That one needs to be colder. This one needs to be warmer here. The true suction is the one that needs to be warmed up. It's uh, it's opening faster now. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, both of them. It's still freezing up though. Huh? It's still freezing up though. That's because it ain't open all the way. It's at 72. It'll eventually wow. open all the way. We're at a uh, 81 and climbing. Almost there. I'm 
And this is without the force open. Wrong one. I know. I'm just trying to get it to not freeze up. There it goes. That forester opened, didn't it? No, it's still rising the same really? speed. 92, 93. Might be this one's bad. That's usually the one that is bad. But I always change them both. I think we were just seeing that's because we were forcing it. You should put it on the cold and see if it shuts. I mean, right now it's running fine. I just want to see how far it's going to go on that. Shit. We're at Shouldn't one. open that far, shit. You're at 108. Yeah. If it's not freezing cold outside, it'll get up to like almost 120. True suction. Depends on the outside temperature. Flip it sideways. Just check. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, we're. It's still flying high. It's wide open, that's why now. It'll be wide open. Too much. No, because it ain't going to heat properly. Just uh, now put it back on the other one see if it shuts. No. Might be overcharged a little bit. <laughs> Look. 125 and 305. That should be like 280 on the, on the one side. You're close to it. No, it might close. It might be overcharged. <laughs> Yeah. Might have just done that because it's open so far. Well, we'll put it on and we'll sit here and watch it. That's that's pretty high. Oh, it's high. Where was that to begin with? We need to reschedule the springtime. Come back out here to good weather. And so the last last tech called train. And DC voltage wasn't acting right, so he sent us the boards. I'm pretty sure it's just a bad sensor. <laughs> but we're going to change the boards and stepper motor anyways. We're going to turn it back on and see how it acts. And then uh, we just have the sensor hanging. We might as well just leave it like that, I guess. <laughs> Unless in cool mode it does something different. But every time we take that off, when it starts to pump down, it, it, it fixes it. So I'm pretty sure it's that sensor. It's so nice to film and just watch Willie work. We just do this the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh gosh. But we do have that. You want to put the sensor back on? See what it does. Yeah. Hold see on. if they're right. Yep. From the get go. Yeah. See if we were right, well, not them. Well, this will tell us. Maybe we're See right. if we were right. Yeah. I know that they're wrong. <laughs> I don't care about their DC voltage. Trot's hurt you. All right, got her kicked back on. See what it does. Sounds like it's gonna pump down by the sound of the compressor. Yep. Pumping down fast. Alright, take the sensor off. Warm it back up. So I warmed it back up. Look, instantly going back up now. The orange one? The suction line transducer, the one that she said she already replaced. It's that sensor. And all I do to test that when you see it pumping down, because you can test it open to see if it's this, the stepper motor or not. But if that all works and you want to test that, just I just throw it over to the hot side where the refrigerant gets hotter so it temp rises quicker so it'll force that step from motor open and it did so I mean I don't know what else to tell them it's 
So one of the boards, the power supply board, did have a little burn mark behind the high power relay. So we replaced all the boards. Um, we're going to come back and do the sensors, but I added a surge protector because we're getting power bouncing from 240 to 250 um, up and down. And I bet if they get any kind of power surge, it spikes even more. So I put a surge protector in there just to help. And we put, kicked it back on with a surge protector and good power. And it's actually working right now as it should. We're just gonna let it do its thing. But it's working right now. It's crazy. But I think we're just gonna change the sensors anyways just because if power a surge power surge messed that board up, it probably mess those sensors up. Alright, so uh, that one's done. We figured that one out. Uh, I told him we'll monitor, um, we'll call us if we need anything. I put a surge protector on there just to help with callbacks because I think they got bad power. We're way, way out here in the woods. And I think they just got some bad power coming in. So that is, uh, that's fixed. So we are done. We're getting out of here, going to the next one. The next one's going to be just a one time maintenance. And, uh, easy peasy. And then, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate y'all.